Hi Taurus, welcome to my channel. This is a love romantic relationship reading for you guys. This is for the Taurus friends. This is for the first week of October 2019. And this is for you guys. Applicable for singles, couples in a relationship, dating or getting to know. For my Taurus friends, I hope you're doing well. Please universe, what can I get for Taurus? What's the message? What's the energy ready for Taurus to know and meant for Taurus to know? For the first week of October 2019. Okay. Before I start, Taurus, I really want to thank you for your awesome support, your likes, your subscribe, your generous donation this week. Thank you. If you are interested to further support my channel, check the description box below because you would see additional details of what my channel offer in here. Additional content of videos is accessible in an extended um, you know, membership group. So if you want to find out the link, so check the description box below. My Instagram account, my Etsy store, um, it will be updated soon because I'm going to be opening my private, I'm going to be off offering again a private booking. So it can be purchased in Etsy. All right. So thank you for listening to the blurb, to the introduction, to my normal spiel. So let's start off with your first week of October 2019 um, for you, Taurus. So you've got here the Queen of Pentacles in upright position, Five of Wands. So this is your Earth energy. This is an Earth energy, Capricorn, Taurus, or a Virgo. Um, you are in a situation where, for some of you, it is unlikely that you've got competition. Or if it's not a competition, if it's not a multiple dating, um, it is it is simply um, a situation you're, where your person is building something. You know, it's because someone in here is ready to give and to share. You know, love, commitment. Queen of Pentacles, you know, this is someone who cares about their pentacles and um, the, the effort, the time that they give out to the world, to someone, to a relationship. It's something really meaningful for them. Um, the thing with the Queen of Pentacles, this is unconditional love. It's, it, is the, it is the version of the Queen of Cups, okay? Um, they've got time. They've got, they will, they've got time, they will give an effort, they will prioritize other people versus them. So this is also a card where uh, someone is willing to adjust, someone is willing to give, all right? Someone is ready to give. Um, although if you look at the Queen of Pentacles today, she's looking sad. It could be you, it could be them. But there is a sense of energy and message in here, um, Capricorn, that um, a person is, is willing to give out the love, the support, the attraction, the effort, but their love or the emotions, it's not fully ripe. It's not fully ready. You know, it's the Queen of Cups. This is um, emotional immaturity. The feelings is not um, the feelings between the two of you, the mutual admiration, the mutual love, uh, the feelings that you have um, with each other for some of you. Um, it didn't grow um, as expected for some of you for some of you it is as simple as the, the feeling isn't ready it isn't it isn't you know fully fully grown yet um you probably have time with each other you because i'm really getting like a reciprocal energy between the two of you and also one-sided energy but um the common thing about the energy the general collective reading and the vibe is that um someone is ready and prepared for a commitment but the other person um, they haven't really figured out what exactly they feel towards you. Or for some of you, both of you guys, you're ready to commit mature maturity in terms of your life right now. You're ready to commit. You've got time. You've got effort. You, you've got time. You've got availability to handle, to connect, to reconnect, to have a relationship. But it seems to be the question, the blockages is that, is your feelings fully ready? Like it, do, do you feel the same way as I feel? Are we at the same page in terms of, of our feeling with each other? Because there seems to be an argument, you know, Five of Wands speaks about, um, you know, a little bit of everywhere, you know, Five of Wands is building something. You guys have time to build something, but the direction of how you build your structure, could be you, it could be them, or it could be mutual, it's going in different, in different um it's going the north, the east, the south. So it, you, you've got to be at the same page. 
in order for you guys to develop your feelings it could be for some of you um this is just initial for some of you this is something serious so it's really is it's it's collectively you've got different you collective reading um taurus is that you're not at the same page although individually if i will break you apart individually you're individually ready to commit you have got time to take care of a relationship you're ready to have a relationship both of you it's more of how do we put our you know how do we combine our dynamic first you need to have a fully matured emotional feelings with each other it could be both of you you're declare you're declaring to yourself that i want a commitment i want this person but are you both prepared emotionally with what you want or for some of you there's a bit of um you know push and pull um some sort of um a playing safe um a playing hard to get because i know that i'm ready but i'm not sure whether he or she is ready so i'm gonna put you know i'm gonna pull my plug a little bit back so that i could get you know a signal from the other person um that um you know the right signal to push you know to to give it all you know it's a waiting game because both of you know uh, sorry individually you know to yourself that you're ready to commit you're ready to love you're ready for this relationship but you guys probably don't communicate that that both of you are pulling each other like come with me you know it's it's a tag it's a pull and push kind of thing so i would say to, to counter this um, blockages is to wait for things to really mature because um, individually if I break you apart um, you guys are okay you guys are ready maturely okay you just really need to take it slow and um, you know don't 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 play drama let let things to unf unfold because five of ones I'm, I'm going here you're going there um, I'm playing hard to get. Um, I'm not going to call today because I want him to call me so that I feel secure. You know, some things like that, it's, 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 it's not going to work. You know, it's just going to cause confusion, especially the five of wands. It's already here. So you, it might be um, Taurus that you're not being consistent on the feelings that you're showing to this person. That's why this person is pulling their plug. So you need to be consistent in order for them to be consistent as well. Regardless whether this place this person plays hard to get, but if you're feeling ready to a commitment, you've got to show this you've got to show this side, this game face, so that this person um, mirror you, okay? Because I'm really picking up um, they will mirror you, or someone is gonna mirror someone, um, but someone needs to initiate that I'm ready, so the other person will follow, okay? I hope you get me. Um, so the sun card is in reverse the three of swords for some of you this is a different energy um taurus because it seems to be three four months ago like a while back there was a third party and you guys are healing you guys are reco recovering recuperating from that disappointing news from that separation from that breakup from that third party um i'm really feeling like with these three cards um things between the two of you in, in 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 terms of connection or reconnection both of you are not ready all right you know um although there is a good news that you guys are you guys are healing you guys you know started to accept that things didn't work you you guys started to accept that you've been rejected or there was a third party it's still in the part of healing for third party um taurus friends out there or for for those who break up um, your person is not happy guys that you break up they're not really um you know i would really say that a breakup it is a breakup is something that um both of you don't win all right both party don't win even though the other party is the is the main reason of the breakup it is still a losing you know it's it's still it's it's a loss for for both of you so what i'm picking up in this industry cards is that it's telling you taurus that if you went to a breakup or if there was a third party and it was a break it ended up with a, a breakup a disconnection or if you're still together and for some reason you guys are you're i, I kind of disconnected with each other um this card is telling that 
you're you're not the only one suffering that unhappiness you someone is not happy about a breakup someone is realizing the loss of a relationship someone is realizing the loss of a person who's important to them it could be you it could be them it could be mutual but the good thing about the three card is that you guys are healing and then you're starting to realize that you feel at lost because you were disconnected with the person you like, you love, you admire, or you're attracted with. And this is some sort of the after result of, this is a remorse. This, this, this energy took place when things started to cool off and you're realizing that, you know, after the pain, after the hurt, after all of that messy um, argument you are realizing that at the end of the day I'm still attracted or I still have a feeling because you won't feel the sadness you won't feel empty if you don't have this strong feeling with someone so it's more of telling you telling you Taurus your your person or it could also be you but it's, I really feel like it's more of a, a, a an external energy your person is suffering from sadness they're healing but they're feeling you're lost right now okay and then more futuristically you know um, best case scenario advice um taurus is that you're gonna get an apology all right for some of you you're gonna get an apology from someone who you break up who costs you third party if it's not apology it's is a message where they will express some sort of a feeling that they are they are at lost without you they miss you something that uh, they will want to connect with you emotionally so that they they could express you know the the mutual feeling that you have in the past it could be a mutual feeling of feeling at loss or their healing something of a sweet but a bit of a, a bitter sweet kind of message for some of you for some of you this if this is a new person a getting to know or a dating you know a person would say i miss you let's let's you know sorry let's you know let's patch things up because it's been confusing you know they know you got a good report you know this person knows that you guys are you know you've got a good report you've got a good connection but it seems to be that you're not just at the same page for for some reason you know there's miscommunication though so you're gonna send you're gonna receive this message of sweet i miss you or a gesture a message of um of you know um that i'm still here i exist um the devil card is here along with the page of war the page of cups i felt like Yep, you know, they still want to be attached with you. For some of you, um, it's not, um, it could be a Capricorn, but I'm really feeling like I can't give you up right now. You know, for some of you getting to know or at the very base level of a connection, reconnection, dating, or you're reconnecting again with an ex. This is, you know, there's, there's some stuff that didn't work. Um, this is, they don't want this to turn into a missed opportunity. So here they are you know let's patch things up let's connect again i don't want to lose what we built what we've started off and i don't want to start off with a devil card and so let me refresh you know because i'm feeling like a fresh vibe with a page of cups although there is a devil card attachment in here which it's a bit toxic so this person is 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 wanting both you know a little bit of excitement and a little bit of new new adventure for for both of you because it's been it's been you know there's a bit of argument there's a bit of inconsistencies but at the same time you guys you know trigger each other in terms of annoyance you trigger each other in terms of inconsistencies some something to do with although there was an on and off there was a miss you know misunderstanding but it triggers the both of you to connect you know um it, it's really more of yep we argue yep there's a there's there's a bit of a misunderstanding between the two of us but it just makes the bond stronger you know i hope it makes sense because sometimes um a person will not trigger you to be annoyed if they are not really into you you know i'm really getting that vibe that um you know you it's it's um like they get you they get you in a positive vibe and they also can annoy you in some ways and it, it brings you know it it brings up challenges in a connection in a reconnection or in a dating if a person annoys you if a person if you are affected with their behavior but in some way it also um it's like um it brings up flavor you know challenges if you overcome it it brings up new flavor all right if the more you the more you and this person um get over um 
messy situation or possibly breakup or argument, the more it brings flavor. So this is what I see here in, in the devil card that, hey, I know it's been toxic, but I'm still with you. It's been messy, but I'm still with you. Because for me, this messiness, this craziness between the two of us, this pettiness, this stupidness, it brings flavor. It brings out the worst and it gives us back to each other. So it's a really, neat, it's a really nice read, reading for you, um, Taurus, that whatever happened, this, this person, is it, it's there. It's really um, blending or merging together your indifferences, okay? And for those people, person that's dealing with a bad breakup, a third party, you know, the universe is telling you that this new moon, this, this cycle, it's, it's bringing up balance and shaking off that um, sadness and they might connect, reconnect to touch base and to see how things with you. Because so, for some of you, your past person with a breakup, with a third party, with a messy, heavy kind of breakup, um, they cannot heal with this new person. Or they cannot heal by themselves. And to 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 have to to heal is to 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 talk to someone who have experienced it, experienced the same loss. Okay, they're they're at loss. I'm really picking up a lost energy in here, and to find their way or to 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 have someone feel or to connect with someone who understands them is is you is to 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 connect with someone who 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 has experienced that it is you so either way break up or getting to know or dating or singles i'm i'm picking up a message an emotional message for you okay so it's really good cuz october month it's bringing us more direct more action more um deep emotion you know people are craving to deep deep connection October month to November month so this is for you Taurus this is a great reading there is a transformation in here good luck to you I hope to see you soon again have a great day bye bye